Hi, this is Jay Lee. Hope all is well. I just wanted to go over this one that I call Redilatus leucophis. This is a rebounding, expansive white serpent. We see so much, so I think it's important to name some of these things. This one was a transformer which not only changed shape, but actually expanded and elongated right before our eyes. Of course, we weren't supposed to see any of this because it was keeping its distance, but it's a good thing that we had some good optical equipment and cameras. As usual, this one came to our location after we called for it, and it gave us quite a show. I consider this one to be a good one because it transformed right in front of us. Although there were some UFO communication powerhouses like Paul, Shelley, and Charles, and Chris, and many others, I can't help but think that there was a couple of new people in our group that contributed to the quality and quantity of what we saw this day. We were very busy. When you're out in the field, it's very important that you capture everything. I do believe that these things can camouflage themselves in order to deceive potential predators like birds or us on the ground that might send something up there to intercept them. Birds can be vicious animals. And the last thing they want to do is get caught up in something and being taken down in the middle of the sky. Definitely the normal looking stuff they let go. Please keep in mind when watching something like this that UFOs may look different from what you expect. Flying saucers may look like UFOs, but not all UFOs look like flying saucers. It's also important that you keep in mind that what's the chances of you seeing something unusual up there? It's hard enough to see something usual, but seeing something unusual, being in the right place at the right time in order to see something unusual is uh, beyond comprehension. When it comes to the odds of seeing something like this, uh, these have to be like lottery numbers. When you're watching something like this, this is probably the first and last time you'll ever see something that looks this strange up in the sky. You might as well take it to the bank that you will never be able to videotape and capture something like this ever again. When we called for this, we called collectively. We asked for this to come to our location, and it did. We don't possess anything extra special other than a relationship with these uh, objects. And as you could see, they absolutely exist. And one of the reasons why we never see anything like this is because we don't explore our skies. We've only explored 5% of our oceans. How much less have we not explored our skies? To be honest, I don't know what this is. Is it biological? Is it mechanical? It's shiny which kind of leans more toward mechanical to me. When it expands, is it like a, an antenna uh, elongating to pick up more signals or is it like a radar strobe that's rotating? I don't know. Or is it like some sort of a biological entity, I don't know, reaching for some sort of food or, you know, uh, a snake unraveling its, itself? I think we basically have to draw our own conclusions and stuff, but if you have any hints, please write your observations in the comment section. Stuff like this you cannot blow off. You have to take a second look. These things are really amazing and they have to be explored. So if this intrigues you like it does me, please join us. We'll call for these things together. Uh, please join LA UFO channel on meetup.com. Once a month, we end up getting together and uh, call for these things to come to our location. I invite you. It's free. We always have a lot of fun when we uh, we do this. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.